Engineer 775 here. I'm in a mechanical room for a customer. We're working on a complete retreat design. I wanted to talk to you about part of it, and that is uh, hot water, a hot water solution. If you're installing a solar system, it's another alternative to doing a, a, a standalone solar hot water heating system. And uh, so I find myself a lot and lately in mechanical rooms and crawl spaces and up on the roof <laughs> trying to, uh, to help people come up with the best system possible for being prepared if the grid goes down. Um, along with this video, there's a song. It is entitled Crawl Spaces. It's not me. It's a friend of mine, Johnny Valentine, that wrote this song. And I thought it was hilarious, thought it was great, and hope you appreciate it if you've ever been in a crawl space. Um, what I want to show you today is what I call, a, well, what is called a Geyser RO. And let me show you. It's by Nile Systems. And it is a little 18 inch blue cube. This little baby is a heat pump. And one of the cool things about this is that you can retrofit it to an existing water heater. And we're going to do that today. Let me show you. I'm draining this water heater right now. Uh, so that we can retrofit that geyser to this really nice uh, marathon water heater, but it's electric. And that's a no-no putting this system on your solar backup battery backup system. So what do you do? Well, with the, with the geyser, you can retrofit it and it'll be sitting here. When it's done, I'll show you that. But we, you can heat your water using a heat pump technology. And we're going to actually plug it into a regular 110 uh, receptacle so it is about 300 percent more efficient than an electric water heater but it's not as fast so you have to wait a little bit longer but it is a pretty awesome cool hot water solution for your retreat it's called a geyser they're about a thousand dollars but uh, again in handling one of the most overlooked preps having hot water is a must and putting in a solar hot water heating system can cost you anywhere from seven to fourteen thousand dollars. Lots of copper, very expensive. So we just put enough PV on the roof, solar, to offset the power that this little baby is gonna gonna use. The other cool, I think it's awesome, side benefit is because it is a heat pump, it will also dehumidify. Um, the area in which this is set. So in the mechanical room that I find myself in, there is all sorts of food stored, um, a lot of uh, a lot of food, and uh, some good food, and uh, so all sorts of cool stuff. This might be familiar to you, and so anyway, just wanted to show you that one of the coolest benefits is that this room will be temperature climate controlled because of the process of making hot water so you get a two for one you get hot water in a climate controlled room to store your food in and so i think that's just awesome so you don't know about the crawl spaces and the tight places i've been you ain't seen Underneath the houses I've been working in So darling if I get home And I'm a little bit snappy Don't you wonder why I'm acting so mean Cause baby You don't know about the Crawl spaces and the Hard times that I've seen You may be warm in the winter Time, but somebody had to climb up under your house just so you could feel so fine. So when you're sitting in your easy chair, just have a little sympathy. Cause darling, you don't know about the crawl spaces and the hard times that I've seen. Just the other day, I was about 45 feet back into a deep, damp crawl space, and my flashlight cut out. And as I tried to turn around, I hit my head on a rafter. Well, it hurt. Then I, I started fumbling around for my light, and I got my face in a spider web, and I got all worried about the spider that might bite my face, and I hit my head again. And then 
when I got home, my honey looked at my face and she said, Honey, what's wrong? And I said to her, Well, darling, you don't know about the cross spaces and the tight places I've been. You ain't seen the underneath the houses I've been working in. So if I get home and I'm a little bit snappy, don't you wonder why I'm acting so mean? Cause baby, you don't know about the cross spaces and the hard times that I've seen. And you don't know about the cross spaces and the hard times that I've seen. Okay, Mr. Geyser is now running. Green lights are on. It's got a green light, a defrost, and a circuit overrun, a current overrun, and it can be pretty sad there. So, anyway, that's the geyser running, putting out cool air. It's already made some condensate. I'm going to straighten that condensate out, make sure that drain, everything's flowing nicely. And uh, I've got to play around with this. But this allows us to have a way to heat water in an efficient manner. But if you still need your on-demand, we're not uh, take, we're not interfering with this element or temperature of basically not interfering with this water heater at all. So we're pulling the cold water out of the drain, dumping the hot water back in to uh, the cold side of the water heater. So we'll see how she does. Temperature in this room is 70. Let's see what it does. It feels really cool. Awesome. I'm excited about this. Engineer 775 signing out.